Imagine being among the first people to have walked our planet. The first eyes to have set on a sunset. The first feet to touch our soils. The first to have faced the ancient flora and fauna that also called this world home. Hi, my name is Chris Rohrbeck, writer and director of Cablemen. Hi, my name is Bianca Devaro, actor and producer of Cablemen. I've always had a passion for paleontology and the glimpse it gives us into deep time. Seeing those strange and primordial worlds is a profound experience. As a filmmaker, I also have a fondness for the classic films that brought these worlds to screen. Regardless of the often questionable scientific accuracy of their depictions, it's safe to say that these films are more inspired by the science than they are bound to it. And that's okay, that's artistic liberty at work. But there's something that's always bothered me about their depiction of the ancient world. Cavemen. Violent ape men, brutish half-wits, and scantily clad sex symbols? When you think of a caveman, the images that come to mind aren't flattering. But why is that? After all, the people that preceded modern man were as human as you. They possessed all the brains, curiosity, and creativity required to lay down the foundation for our civilization. That's where the inspiration for Cavewoman began. A pastiche of the lost world genre with a titular lead that showcases the best aspects of humanity. Cavewoman is the story of a prehistoric survivalist, an empathetic and inquisitive soul pitted against the forces of nature. As a recently sentient being, Cavewoman sees the world brand new. And rather than try and conquer her surroundings, she learns to live in harmony with the natural world around her. This is a bold, beautiful, and brainy character. And I'm so excited to bring her to life. Shot in state-of-the-art vertiscope, Cavewoman is brought to life in a series of one-minute shorts for social media. With the potential for more. Yes, but building this world is going to be a challenge. And that's where you come in. We want to make a fictional version of the natural world that's as diverse and interconnected as our own. Ranging far beyond the relationships of predator and prey, we want to build our own version of a prehistoric ecosystem that showcases the triumph and tragedy of life. And of course, she might get to meet a dinosaur or two. We're going full B-movie aesthetic with the use of claymation, puppets, and clever camera work. These shorts will be heavily influenced by a retro film aesthetic. In this way, we hope to subvert your expectations, luring you in with the absurd and comical before knocking you upside the head with something that's oddly poetic. It's with your support that will bring Cablewoman out of the Stone Age and onto your phone screen. Here's what you can do to help. Go visit our page on Seed and Spark and make your contribution. We'll have plenty of updates for you as we make progress. And you might get to meet Cavewoman herself.